Hey, you need cast students. This is Mr. Clifford. Welcome to ACDC Econ. Right now, I'm going to talk about cost curves. If there's one complaint about learning microeconomics, it's cost curves. I mean, no one gets excited about cost curves. <laughs> They might not be exciting, but cost curves are super essential. Now, someday you might own a business and it's important to understand the cost of production. Calculating your cost is gonna help you figure out your profit, but it also helps you figure out how many units to produce. And you'll be doing these calculations for cost and drawing the cost curves a whole lot in microeconomics. So although it seems kind of bland, it's time to get excited about cost. <laughs> so let's go over the different types of costs. Every company has two different types of costs. Fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs are the costs that don't change with the amount produced. Like if you're a pizza company, the oven, right? You only have one, it's a fixed resource. It doesn't matter how many pizzas produced, you still have to pay for the oven. Another example might be the manager's salary, right? You still need a manager whether you produce one unit or a thousand units, and so the manager's salary is a fixed cost. So variable costs do change with the amount produced. So if you produce more output, you're gonna need more resources. So raw materials, labor, electricity are all examples of variable resources, and that's variable costs. If there's only two types of costs, fixed and variable, then total cost must be fixed plus variable costs. And there's also marginal cost. Marginal cost is the additional cost of producing one more output. If you're a pizza restaurant, it's the cost of producing one additional pizza. It's the change in total cost divided by the change in output. So now you understand the total cost. There's total fixed cost, total variable cost, total cost, and marginal cost. Now let's see if you can calculate them on your own. Right here I have the cost for a given firm. Right, we have zero output, we got one, two, three, four, five, six units that they could produce. I've also given you the variable cost and the fixed cost producing no output. I want you to copy this chart on your piece of paper and finish off these columns. Calculate the fixed cost, the total cost, and the marginal cost. Pause the video and then do those calculations and I'll go over the answers. What's the fixed cost of producing one unit? Well, it's $10. For two units, it's $10. For three units, it's $10. Why? Because it's fixed. It doesn't matter how many units produced, you still pay $10 fixed costs. Total cost is the variable plus the fixed cost. So when you produce nothing, you still have a total cost of $10. Remember, that's because you have to pay that fixed cost. For one unit, it's $20. For two units, it's $27. Then 35, 50, 70, and 120. And it's really that simple. Variable cost plus fixed cost equals total cost. The marginal cost is the change in total cost from producing an additional output. So if the total cost of producing nothing is $10 and the total cost of producing one unit is $20, the additional cost of that first unit must be 10. Since the total cost of two units is 27, the additional cost of that second unit must be an additional $7. So again, the marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in output. So it's eight, 15, 20, and $50. Now that you can calculate these costs, let's calculate the per unit cost. There's average variable cost, average fixed cost, and average total cost. The average variable cost is the total variable cost divided by the quantity. Average fixed cost is the fixed cost divided by the quantity. And the average total cost is the total cost divided by the quantity. Most of the time when you see these, you're gonna see them by the acronym. So ABC, AFC, and ATC. Get used to that. Now let's go see if you can actually use those equations and calculate the average cost curves. I want you to calculate the average total cost of six units, the average fixed cost of two units, the average variable cost of four units, the average total cost of one unit, and calculate all three, the average variable, average fixed, and average total for five units. So go back to your paper, number one through seven, and make sure to calculate each one of these. Pause the video and I'll go over them. All right, the average total cost of six units is $20. That's because the total cost is 120, and we're producing six units. So if the total cost is $120 and you produce six units, how much did each one cost on average? Well, $20. The average fixed cost of two units is $5, right? If the $10 fixed cost divided by two units, that gives us $5. The average variable cost of four units is the $40 variable cost, total variable cost, divided by the four units that we produced. So it's gonna be $10. The average total cost of one unit is $20. If one unit costs a total of $20, then on average, that one unit costs $20. Now let's take a step back and find out something you might not have noticed first time around. Notice that the average variable cost plus the average fixed cost equals the average total cost. For example, for five units, the average variable cost was $12, the average fixed cost was $2, and the average total cost was $14. 12 plus two equals 14. That's how it is for every single one of these. The average variable cost plus the average fixed cost equals the average total cost. Actually, this is not that bad. I kinda like cost curves. Cost curves, cost curves.
The next thing you're gonna do is gonna take all these costs from the chart and you're gonna put it on a graph. To learn more about that graph and to find out how to use it, you gotta watch the next video. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below, okay? Till next time.